Welcome to the Boat Show. Today we're coming to you from Fort Lauderdale. I'm Bill Hackett. We're lucky enough to be at Sunseeker and we're checking out their latest. It is the Ocean 182. This is the global premiere. What you should do is step aboard with me and see what she's all about. This boat shines in so many areas, but this one is spectacular. In the aft end, we have a hydraulic platform. You can get your tender down, or more importantly, you can lower this down into the water and just tickle your feet a little bit. Of course, we have a beautiful summer kitchen here with fold out doors. It's beautiful and you can cook your fresh catch or whatever you have on board. How comfortable is this? First and foremost, just behind me, we have storage. Now that this is unfolded, we're in beach mode right here. So relax, put your sunscreen on. It's absolutely gorgeous today, but there's more than meets the eye with this seat. This seat actually articulates up and becomes part of the main deck. This whole vessel was designed around the main deck having an infinity type of view and it starts right here. Again, this seat has flipped up into the up position so we can catch some rays, we can keep engaged with everybody on the main deck, and then just forward of that, we have a nice little sitting area with a sofa and two chairs, and you can rearrange them because they're mobile, so it can be forward or aft facing. Then we have a full wet bar on the port side, and then just to the starboard side, we have a wing docking station so you can guide this bad boy right into her slip. As we step into this beautiful salon area, again, the whole boat was designed around this area. We have three-way sliders, so it allows you to engage with the people on the back end, opens it up for a nice breeze, and then we have a beautiful sitting area here, uh, a wonderful couch on the starboard side, room for everybody, and then some. Overhead, we have impeccable lights and details, and then we have a nice little cafe area over here on the port side and there's a slider which we can allow a breeze in as well. Then the TV, we can turn it on, everybody can see, but it actually swings out so the people in the app and end can enjoy the game or whatever. Form follows function. Right here we have a beautifully designed spiral staircase which really isolates it over here on the port side and opens up the space for the whole salon into the galley and into the dining area. We have a day head on the starboard side and then we have access to the cabins just behind the spiral staircase. So I need to take off my glasses to really soak in all the finer details of this galley. We have all your major appliances, including a stove top that's vented, a microwave oven, a convection oven, and we have a full refrigerator and freezer lockers as well, a nice little wine cooler. But you don't have to worry about that because this boat is crewed. So you can relax right here with an eight person set up dining area. Of course, we have watertight access on both the port and starboard side to move forward on the boat. Moving forward on the main deck, we have the spectacular bow area. First, we have seating for all your guests, super comfortable, whether we want to sit down and relax. We have refrigeration. We have spaces to put graphite poles so you can get some shade. And then we have a full three seat lounger so everybody can relax, catch some sun, and simply enjoy the view and fresh breeze. So the name of the boat, the Ocean 182, comes from the gross tonnage of the boat. So it has a volume of over 3,000 square feet and an interior space of over 2,000 square feet. Now it's got an 88 foot, 11 inch length overall. But as we step here into this beautiful master suite, you can really take advantage of that 23 foot, six inches of beam all right here. We have glass coming in, we have beautiful overhead lighting, and you have tons of space for you and your first mate to just absolutely relax. We have a full ensuite, super well appointed. 
Then there's a separate shower, a TV of course, and we have a beautiful makeup station, a nice little coffee sitting area, either place you can look out onto the sea. And then just behind it, we have plenty of storage uh, for you while you're on passage. But there's one thing I wanna point out about the closets. Quality of construction runs all throughout this vessel. Where can you see it? Six robust hinges for these doors. Absolutely incredible. So the starboard side guest room is full en suite, plenty of storage, TV, fantastic lighting. This one right now is tricked out in a twin setup, but press of a button, you can make it a full. The port side accommodations do not disappoint either. Two of your guests will be very comfortable here. Again, full en suite, great lighting and natural light. Forward into the bow, we have the VIP, and I'm feeling it right now, baby. So we have a beautiful makeup desk station combination, and of course, all the tricks at home, great TV, great light, mm, well taken care of. Up here on the upper deck, you can relax in the sun, or we can press a button and throw out the shade. We have a couple of shades loungers over here. Again, this is movable furniture, so you can relax any way you want. We have a beautiful summer kitchen with a grill, an ice maker, a couple of refrigerators. What more do you need out here? Well, let's step inside. Check out this four-way glass enclosure so we can be watertight and safe on the inside. And then one level living, here we go. Full enclosure in here, but I have four sliders to keep us nice and safe. And then we have seamless living from inside to outside. We have a great TV set up with a coffee area and a massive sofa to relax and enjoy the day. Let's go check out the home. We have a beautiful single seat helm for your captain. Great visibility up here. And then just behind me for the rest of the service crew, we have a nice wet bar, give you anything you need while you're underway up here on the upper deck. So if the crew is happy, your guests are gonna be happy. We have private access for the crew quarters on the port side and they're well taken care of with a miniature galley and two bunk staterooms. So here we are at the helm and you're going to see a very smart design. I feel very comfortable up here. Uh, if you come up from a smaller boat and you possibly could uh, run this yourself, but of course you want a captain to take care of you so you can relax. I have a twin garment array, massive, so I have my chart on one side and I have my telemetry on the other. You can also bring a wind indication and all that up here if you will. So this beauty has twin man 1900s and we're going to get about a 1200 nautical mile range. Now the sweet spot for cruising is probably around 18 knots. So right now we're in that pocket, we're in that sweet spot and you can tell we have stabilizers on. So let's talk about the stabilization for a minute. So the fin stabilization, it's an active fin stabilization system. So they're constantly moving whether I'm uh, underway or whether I'm on the anchor, it actually can keep the boat very still. Uh, the stabilizers are active and they can retract when you're pulling into the dock as well. So very comfortable ride, stabilizers are working and we know this boat can do a lot more. So why don't we push it up a little bit? Very reactive, man, it's coming right up. So I'm right around 22 knots already. So again, we have about, well, we're running around 25 knots. It's cruising now, I'm at 26. It's a very comfortable ride. Remember, comfort and safety are the most important thing. When you're running out here, you wanna take care of your guests in a calm fashion. But believe it or not, I'm running 
27 knots right now. Oh, just over 27 knots. It's a very comfortable ride. Those stabilizers are really doing the job. Man, very comfortable. And again, it's a sun seeker. The seaworthiness is incredible. You feel it. Um, I almost wish that we had a little more chop out here to show you or demonstrate how well she would take the water, but it is a very comfortable ride. All right, so let's put her into a nice turn here. Again, we got plenty of people she's got to take care of, but honestly, this is a very responsive boat. Really not listing, those stabilizers are doing the job. So we're fully into the turn. It's very comfortable and we're still going 26 knots. That's incredible for a boat this size. Turns on a dime, which is great. It's a lot of fun for me at the wheels, but honestly, everybody on board is super comfortable. It's a very stable ride. Very responsive, but very stable. So this Sunseeker Ocean 182, she is beautiful. She's expansive and she's got that interior space for days, but she is a great handling boat. It's a Sunseeker. It's robust build, comfortable ride with that stabilization. What you should do is see it for yourself.